number if i want to convert this into single real part and single imaginary part then as per our technique we have to remove the complex number from the denominator so to remove the number from the denominator here we have 2 plus i and 1 minus 3 and the denominator first of all i'll multiply these two brackets so after multiplying these two brackets we'll get a single complex number because right now there are two complex numbers after multiplication then get converted into a single complex number. So we will be having one complex number in the numerator, one will be in the denominator. And then to remove from the denominator, we'll multiply it with the conjugate, which we have done in the previous example. So guys, let's start. So this is 3 plus 2i upon. Now let's multiply this two bracket. So I'll multiply second bracket with 2. So we'll take 2 into 1, 2. 2 into minus 3i that is minus 6i, i into 1 that is plus i, and i into minus 3i is minus 3i square, which is equal to x plus i1. Now let's simplify the denominator. So for that, we'll require the value of i square. So guys, we know that the value of i is square root of minus 1. So therefore, by squaring both sides, we'll get i square equal to minus 1. Now, I'll put this value of i square as minus 1 in the denominator. So, here we get minus 1 into minus 3, that is plus 3. And plus 3 and this plus 2 will be plus 5. So, 3 plus 2i in the numerator. In the denominator, this will be 5. And minus 6i plus i is minus 5i is equal to x plus i1. Now we got a single complex number in the denominator. Let's remove that number as well. And for that, we'll multiply and divide by the conjugate of this denominator. So the conjugate of pi minus pi y is pi plus pi y. So now I'll multiply the numerator and the denominator with pi plus pi y. So Now guys, let's solve the numerator and the denominator. So, in the denominator, we have 5 minus 5 by we into 5 plus 5 by. So, here I can use the formula of algebra that is a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, by using that formula, here we will get 5 square minus 5 by the whole square. Now, in the numerator, both brackets are different, so we will multiply in the usual manner. So, I will multiply the second bracket with 3 first and that with 2i. So, 3 into 5 will give us 15, 3 into 5, 5 will give us 15i, then 2i into 5 will give us plus 10i, and 2i into 5i will give us 10i square, which is equal to x plus i1. 
Now guys, again the value of i square is minus 1. So this will become 10 into minus 1, minus 10. 15 minus 10 is 5. So 5. 59 plus 10 i is 25 i. So plus 25 i. Upon 5 square is 25. And your middle sign is negative. Again, 5 square is 25. And this is i square that is minus 1. So minus 1 into 25, we will get minus 25, which is equal to x plus i1. So now minus minus plus, so we will get 25 plus 25, 50. So now I'll divide this numerator separately with this 50. So that will become 5 upon 50 plus 25i upon 50 which is equal to x plus i1. So 5 upon 50, we know that it is equal to 1 upon 10. And here I write down the final answer, 1 upon 10 plus 25 upon 50 is 1 by 2. So that is i by 2. And guys, if you see this answer, which I have written inside the square bracket, then that is the standard form because it has only one real part and one imaginary part. So here we have expressed the given number which is r in the standard form. So guys I am sure that you understood this question and the solution of that and if you want to learn more such videos of engineering mathematics then you have to log into ek.com today itself where you can enjoy the maths unlimited and where you can get all the concepts of mathematics at one place. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.